Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 26 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Um, a bread and butter bolo, in my opinion, is an item that I sold for $35 or less. It's an item I picked up cheap and usually is easier to find. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And we are going to get started here. The first item came from an estate sale. Um, I get items at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace. My husband goes to flea markets. So um, my husband's more of a hobby seller. I am a full-time reseller. So we are going to get started. All right. So the first item are these will hold vintage plastic brush rollers. There's 24 curlers here. Um, I've got the original packaging, but you can see it is partially opened. And I was really surprised at how quickly this sold. I got this at an estate sale, probably cost of goods, 50 cents to a dollar. I'm not really sure. It was one of those estate sales where things really weren't priced. And I kind of just put everything on the table and got a total at the end. But um, I'm guessing around 50 cents for this. Sold it for $25. The buyer was all in for $33.45. If you guys want to see more items from this estate sale, um, you can check that out. I have a video called We Split Up at This Estate Sale. And my husband and I went in and we completely split up, bought our own stuff, and came home and did a video. And I show you guys how we listed everything. I think there's eight to 10 solds already in the video that we shared. And then we all show, also show you how we listed everything. So definitely check out that video. It is full of good bolo items. The next item is this Party Light Halloween Black Cat Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Decor. So I think candles came in this or something like that. I got this out of a mystery box and I couldn't really find another one that was exactly like it. Um, I posted in my Facebook group and somebody found one similar, but it had other stuff with it. So I just listed it kind of low and ended up selling it best offer for 12 bucks. The buyer was all in for 1944. And again, this is from a thrift store mystery box. So I probably had a buck or two in it. The next item is this World of Wonder Talking Mother Goose Hector Little Miss Muffet book and tape. So I bought um, the goose and Hector and all the books and the mama goose did not work. Um, so I have her listed for parts and I decided to part out all of the books. Um, cost of goods on this was about $4 and I ended up taking a best offer on this of $30 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $39.23. The next item is this vintage Betmer, Betmar metallic gold bucket rain hat. You guys, I picked this up at a garage sale. I just thought it was kind of fancy and cute. Um, I figured it would be a bread and butter, but you just never know. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for a best offer of 14. The buyer was all in for 2105. I am, um, I noticed when I was pulling up tabs for this that I forgot to put cross stitch in the title. That would have been a good keyword. Um, I ended up selling this for $9.71 plus shipping. It took a long time to sell. Um, it could be the pattern or it could be that I forgot to put cross stitch in the title, but uh, it did sell. I don't remember where I got it. I typically pick up cross stitch kits for a buck, maybe $2. If it's a really good one, I'll pay five. Um, but some of these cross stitch kits can go for over $100. So you definitely want to look them up. But if they're a dollar or less, I just grab them and go because they're always going to be a good bread and butter. Uh, so the buyer was all in for $16.08. The next item is this Build-A-Bear Gingerbread Hello Kitty. I priced this on the lower end because it was missing the bow. And this sold really quickly for $14.40 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $29.34. I got this at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. And it is a big one. It's about 18 inches. The next item is this Vintage Schmid Benjamin Bunny Beatrix Potter Christmas Easter Ornament Japan. Um, show you here the size. Thought it was cute. Got it in an estate sale for a buck. It sold for $12.96 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $20.04. Um, whenever there's tags on an ornament and it's part of a collection, it's definitely 
probably going to sell because somebody's going to try to complete their set. I always pick up the Ann Gettys um, vintage bean bags. Some of them, you know, they're they're usually a bread and butter, you guys. But I've sold quite a few, so I just pick them up if they're cheap. I got this for fifty cents at a garage sale. It sold for fourteen forty. The buyer was all in for twenty one eighty seven. Okay, so this one, most of you probably are not going to waste your time, but there are people that have complete stores based on selling game, board game parts. So they will get board games and they will part them out. And the key to, I would think, success for this would be if that's what your store is like the main focus, you're going to have, let's say I have this Jumanji board game 2017 replacement dice, okay? So the person that only sells replacement parts for games is going to pick up all these games and then they're just going to keep changing the quantity and they'll have templates for these things. So it's really fast and easy to list. Now they may have to do different photos depending on the condition of the, the game piece, but more than likely they can probably even use the same photos in most cases. Uh, I sold this for $4 best offer. The buyer was all in for $8.85. So I picked the game up in a mystery box. I, if I remember correctly, the mystery box didn't have a whole lot in it. So I was trying to make some money back and decided to part out this game. So is it big money? No, but my cost of goods was, you know, pretty cheap because there were probably six or seven things in the game that I parted out. The next item is another major bread and butter. I sold it for $9. Uh, the buyer was all in for $15.23. This also came out of a mystery box. So if you guys are not familiar with Imagine Next, they are um, kids' toys. And most of them are bread and butter, but they do sell. So this is just a little armor piece that goes over the toy figure. Um, it's just the armor. It's not the toy. And it's loose. So it's pre-owned, played with condition. So not too bad. I got it in a mystery box. And um, I was definitely happy with that sale. And if I remember correctly, it sold pretty quickly. So that estate sale I was telling you about that my husband and I split up at, he got this vintage Wagner Ware cast iron skillet. Um, I want to say he paid $12 for it. He did pay up a little bit. I probably should have started this auction higher. I was hoping it was going to get some bids. It ended up going for what I started it at, at $34.99. So that is kind of a bummer. Um, I did list all of his items, so he didn't price it. I did. So that may have been, it may have went for a little more if I did a buy it now or best offer, but I'm not a hundred percent sure because the condition, um, was not fantastic. You can see it's a little bit rusty. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, the buyer did pay shipping, so they were all in for $55 and 68 cents. The next item also came from that estate sale. And I sold this for $20.16. The buyer was all in for $26.78. I had about a dollar in it. Um, I did just, I threw this in the laundry because it had a little stain on it. The stain did not come out, so I just disclosed it. This is um, kind of like that parachute material, and it is by Cuddly Terra Toys, um, nylon plush dog, seven inch. And it sold really fast, you guys. So anytime you see these, definitely... Um, look them up or just pick them up if they're cheap. The next item I sold is this toddler sportswear dress. I got this at a garage sale for a buck. I ended up taking a best offer of 15 on this and it sold uh, all in for $25.91. And this just fits a 12 to 14 inch doll. It's new old stock. I actually got another one. You can see it right there to the left. Um, it has not sold yet. And I actually thought the other one was cooler than this one. So we'll see. The next item is this Anna Lee Christmas 1993 uh, winter snow bear with the original tags. I always pick up Anna Lee. It does range from bread and butter to big money. I ended up taking a best offer of $19 on this. I got it at a garage sale for $1 and the buyer was all in for $27.78. Um, Anna Lee is very easy to um, recognize. Once you see it, you don't forget it. They have like these painted faces that look kind of like this. Um, this one has the tag, so it was really easy to identify. But they should also have a tag attached to the clothing that says Anna Lee and the year it was made. So 
definitely be on the lookout. These vintage Christmas tags are super cool. Um, I got these out of a mystery box and I ended up taking a best offer of $25 on these and the buyer paid shipping. So just really cool vintage uh, Christmas tags to, you know, when you're wrapping gifts and stuff. I don't know if people really still use them anymore, but they sold. Buyer was all in for $33.80. And I don't know if I said, but I got those out of a thrift store mystery box. This vintage gnome ceramic hand painted standing up um, uh, figure. It says shelf decor. I don't know if this could be put outside or not. I mean, it was it was kind of heavy, but it's just ceramic. I mean, maybe on a porch or something. But I ended up taking a best offer of 30 on that. Buyer was all in for $44.71. I have two left. Um, I thought these were going to do better, but I really think this is just like a craft that somebody has. Um, it's a mold that somebody has hand painted, but they did a really nice job. And I got this at a garage sale for $3.50. The next item are these Tonka Funrise um, vehicles. They're construction. They're metal diggers. I think these came out of a mystery box, but do not quote me on that. Um, I did not write down where I got it. I sold these for a best offer of $35. The buyer was all in for $50.13. This vintage Monet chunky chain flat link bracelet. It's gold tone. Um, Monet is almost, well, as far as I know, it's always signed. So you can see it's here on the bracelet and the clasp. I got this at a thrift store for, no, I'm sorry, a garage sale for $1. Took a best offer of $20, and the buyer was all in for $26.35. These vintage flashcards came out of a thrift store mystery box. They actually sold really quick. Um, there were some others listed, so I priced mine kind of low because they still had this, like, happy face sticker on it. And the box had a little bit of damage, so I just priced them low. And I was like, I don't know if these are ever going to sell. And they sold fast, so it was a nice surprise. Took a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $25.82. The next item is this Fisher Price um, Loving Family Twin Time Baby Infant. Um, it's got on the little blue and green outfit. Sold this for $14. The buyer was all in for $19.50, and I got this at a garage sale for about $0.50. Cents. Switch and Go Dinos. Uh, this is MC Roar Gigantosaurus Dinosaur Transforming Car. I do have a video down in the description that shows the buyer how this works. And I sold this for $14. The buyer was all in for $21.77. So if you would like to see how this works, I do have a YouTube channel called Reseller Testing Bolo Products. You can go over there and um, see a lot of the items. Um, if they have a function, I typically will show how the item works and put it in the description of my video. Um, this, the buyer was all in for $21.77. I got it at a thrift store for $1. Again, you guys, these items are cross-posted, were cross-posted to Mercari and Poshmark. They did sell faster on eBay. Um, eBay is my number one platform, but I love getting um, my items on Poshmark and Mercari because those are just extra bonus sales each month. Um, plus having your eggs in different baskets, not all in one basket. I mean, let's say you get a suspension on eBay for, you know, something that you just accidentally listed and you didn't know it was a Vero and you get your account suspended for three days. You know, that way you have extra, um, a little extra security, other platforms that you can still be selling stuff on. Um, I list my items to eBay and then I cross post them from eBay to Mercari and, um, Poshmark. I use list perfectly. There is a link down in the description of the video that will show you how I cross post with List Perfectly. If you guys want to check it out there, you can also use the List Perfectly catalog. I choose to do it this way. That's just kind of, I'm kind of set in my ways and that's how I like to do it. Um, but if you watch the video and you like what you see, if you use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, that will get you 30% off your first month. I have been using List Perfectly since 2019. I absolutely love it. Um, and it will definitely help you grow your business. So definitely check that out. Uh, the next item I sold is this space maker. Now I will tell you space makers in general can be big money bolos. This one was not in great condition. Um, you can see here, it's just, you know, kind of, kind of yuck actually. 
I'm not even sure I should have picked it up, but um, I did. Uh, I sold it for a best offer of $15. The buyer was all in for $24.30. It was incomplete, missing the part that hangs it. It also had condition issues. So I just did a light clean on it and took that best offer. Uh, I got this for three bucks at a thrift store. I mean, somebody may have been buying it for a part. Who knows? The next item I sold are these Kramer. I think it's pronounced K-R-A-M-E-R. Kramer, Kramer, I'm not sure. They are signed on the back. As you can see, these are clip-on chandelier earrings, single, or I'm sorry, signed dangle silver tone. I ended up taking a best offer of 18 on these and the buyer was all in for 23.10. They are really, really cool. And I got these at a thrift store for $1. The next item are these vintage ceramic parrot bird figurines. They're just little mini figures, you guys, but they're um, ceramic. I got these at a thrift store for $1, took a bet, or I'm sorry, sold them for $21, and the buyer was all in for $29.57. And the last item I sold is this Schley Elephant um, horse. Horse. <gasps> oh my goodness. Schley Elephant, not horse. And it's got the trunk, and the trunk is rolled. So I use that as a keyword. And um, Anything that's schley that's an animal, I will typically pick them up. They're usually a good bread and butter item. People collect these. Um, a lot of people buy them for their kids and they're looking for a specific animal. So right there, you can see this is what it looks like on the bottom. I think this one is vintage, but don't quote me on that. I don't know if it's 2011 or if it's, I don't know. Maybe it's not vintage. Maybe it's 2011, but retired, we'll say. Uh, sold this for $12 best offer. The buyer was all in for $19.43 for this elephant, you guys. And that came out of a mystery box. All right, you guys, that was 26 bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully find pretty easily and sell for a decent profit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not. Check the description of the video for links to my Facebook group and Instagram and stuff like that. And be sure to like, comment, and share. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And put a hat emoji down in the comments if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.